For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God's love, for the Bible says God is love, is that He sent, He gave a charity love His Son. That only by Jesus Christ are you able to be saved. Only by Jesus Christ can you get to a place called heaven. There is no other way. There is no other means to get to God the Father. When Jesus has said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. It is so plain and simple that God is able to save your soul. God is willing to save your soul. But you've got to come to Calvary. You don't come to a church. You don't come to baptismal waters. You don't come to do good. You come to Jesus to get to the Father, for Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. And that means that Baptists don't go to heaven, Catholics can't make it, Presbyterian Charismatics can't get to heaven. But by the means of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, can you get to heaven? Salvation is simple. When the Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Salvation is believing. It is never doing. And you may say, well, preacher, I'm a good person. When the Bible says there is none that doing good, no, not one. You're not good enough. And Mary can't get you to heaven. Allah has no heaven. But Jesus Christ, who is God and of God, the creator of all, including heaven, says if you want to get to heaven, come to Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Satisfaction of God is not what you have done. It is what Jesus Christ has done. And what Jesus Christ has done is he suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. And the Bible says that you have the need the need that has been set for by Jesus Christ. And you cannot meet your need. You cannot do anything for your need. For it has been done through Jesus Christ. And it's plain and simple to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. It is plain and simple for you to get your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life and to be saved. When you have put your faith and belief in Jesus Christ alone, and there is nothing else that can save your soul. 
but through Jesus Christ, who is God. And you're not going to get to heaven with a baptismal certificate. You're not going to get to heaven by your name being on the church roll. You will get to heaven by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. And only by the blood of Jesus Christ are you able to get to a place called heaven. Heaven's entrance. I am going to heaven by the finished work of Jesus Christ and nothing else. And that there is no other work to get to heaven but by Jesus Christ. See you again? In Jesus Christ alone. Amen. Second time, huh? I've been sitting here before me and my wife are going, yeah, I think that's going to be okay. Would this guy help me out? He's been here. He just left the gospel. And that what will get you to heaven is that Jesus Christ suffered and died. According to the scripture. Why not? You can't accept donations into And that he was buried. How do you turn down a love? As you would do. And that he arose again the third day according to the scripture. Yes. See, God died for our sin. So we'll be coming back to time. And God was buried. That's my father. And God arose three days and three nights out of the grave where religion remains dead. Religion is dead in the eyes of God and into the gates of heaven. Heaven is Thank you. Thank you by the straight idea. gate, and the straight wow. gate is through Jesus Christ. And broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many go thereafter. And do not be of the many that will go off into the broad way that leadeth to hell. You see, we are in a fight today of racism. We are in the, in the fight of black lives and white lives. Now I'm telling you, you got a deaf life. And without Jesus Christ, whatever color you be, without Jesus, you will die and go to hell. And you'll burn forever. Because you have chosen to reject Jesus Christ. The blessed hope. Jesus Christ don't care what sex you are. He doesn't care what race you are. But he does care. And he does love you enough that he suffered and died according to the scriptures. And without your belief in Jesus, and you can believe in anything but Jesus. And your belief will get you into hell. And you won't come out of hell. And you cannot come out of hell in anything but Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. It is so plain and simple to see that Jesus is salvation. And Jesus is the only way. And Jesus is God approved. And your faith in Jesus will get you into heaven where Jesus lives. 
and Jesus will be praised. And that you will not enter into the place of heaven where Jesus is without faith and belief in Jesus. You won't make it. You cannot think yourself into heaven. You cannot wish yourself into heaven. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to get to heaven. And without Jesus Christ, you will not make heaven the abode, the place of the dwelling place of Jesus. I don't care you sit in the front row of a church. I don't care if you were baptized 240 times plus seven. I don't care if your political status. I don't even care what you've done. It is what Jesus Christ has done. And that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and he was buried and he arose again the third day according to the scriptures and you are without hope without Jesus you are without mercy without Jesus there is no grace without Jesus there is no heaven without Jesus And you are hopeless without the blessed hope. God does not care who and what you are, but he cares on what his son has done upon Calvary's hill. And the fact is that God suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures is to show and prove you can't do it. In order to be saved to get to heaven, you must be without sin. And before you jump the wagon and say, oh, that's me, the Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That God, our Creator, saw the need that His creation needed. And that we, the creation, cannot get to God except by God Himself giving His life. And not only by giving his life, but by giving his blood, Acts 20, 28. That the sinless blood of God has been spilt for man's sin. 
And when God has spilt His blood for us, you will not get to heaven without God at all. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. The Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, who is God, who Thomas said, my Lord, my God, is able to save your soul and to pull you out of hell forever. And all religion can do is sink you deeper into the lake of fire. Your good works just gets you another spot in the lake of fire that burneth forever. And yet by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ are you able to get your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life to obtain eternal life. That your eternity rests upon the Son. For he that has the Son hath everlasting life. And he that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. And the wrath of God is hell. And without Jesus Christ, you will go to a place called hell. And if you do not want to go to hell, you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. And save from what? Hell. You're either going to go to heaven or you're going to hell. And to get to heaven is by Jesus Christ Amen. alone. Amen. Nothing else. Thank you, sir. You have a good day. Nothing else is able to get you to God. When Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. There is no hope in the Pope. Only Jesus saved. And there is no hope of what you can think about heaven. Because without Jesus Christ, there is no heaven. You can't get yourself into a place that God has ordained and that God has provided a way you cannot get into that place called heaven against what God has said to do. God has never said, go to church to come here in heaven. God has never said, be baptized 
and I'll let you into my heaven. God has never said, pray to Mary for salvation. God has said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Good for you for announcing your beliefs. I agree with you. Uh, announcing the Bible. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. There is no hope in the Pope, only Jesus saved. The Bible says there is one mediator between God and man. The man Christ Jesus and Mary was a female. So according to the Bible, she can't do nothing. And the words of Mary were, Whatsoever my son saith, do it. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And when Jesus says, you can't get to the Father without me, you are not going to heaven without Jesus. It's impossible. It is truly impossible to even think about going to heaven without Jesus. I don't think it. The Bible says so. I believe what the Bible says. And many of you who believe I'm going to heaven by how good I am, I'm going to heaven by what church I am, I'm going to heaven by what water I've been baptized in. You don't believe what the Bible says because the Bible says not by church attendance. Not by water baptism. And not by good works, but by Jesus Christ. Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be made white as snow. And if you want to be clean in the eyes of God, you must come to the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. So I got it. Thank you. For the Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. I didn't say the church takes away the sin of the world. I didn't say the baptismal water that takes away the sin of the world. I didn't say the works of what I can do take away the sin of the world. I said the Lamb of God will take away the sin of the world. Now maybe there's a Catholic hell. Maybe there's a Baptist hell. Maybe there's a charity part in hell. But there is no hell in belief and trust in Jesus Christ alone. Some people think, oh, this world is hell. It can't be. Because I'm in the world. And there are no Christians in hell, so this can't be hell. And hell is described as a place of torment because you have rejected Jesus Christ. You will not put your faith in Jesus when the Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved.
If God is not satisfied in what you can do, you will not be satisfied in what you've done. God's satisfaction is the finished work of Jesus Christ. And upon the cross of Jesus, Jesus said, it is finished. And you need not add anything to God's salvation. That Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Now you can go ahead and die. The wages of sin is death. You will die according to the scripture. For all have sinned. The wages of sin is death. As Jesus, you will die. And pretty much seven, ten, seven out of ten chances, you'll be buried. Now, if you can rise from your grave in sinless perfection without sin, then you can go to heaven. But I have told you that the scripture said all have sinned. And when I say all have sinned, that is you included. So unless you can be sinless perfected, you can't save your soul. And if you can't save your soul, Jesus Christ can. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. The satisfaction of God is Jesus. And without Jesus Christ, there's no satisfaction of God. And Jesus Christ is the blessed hope. And without Jesus Christ, there is no hope. And without Jesus Christ, you will not get to heaven. You will go to hell. Now, I didn't say go to hell. I said you will go to hell. I have no power to put you in hell. God has that power by you rejecting Jesus Christ. When the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. And that's all God says to be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation.
There is no getting to heaven without Jesus. There is no chance at all that God will look on you and then without Jesus Christ you'll get to a place called heaven. It won't happen. When the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved, there is no other means, there is no other way. And you cannot and will not get to heaven without Jesus. It's a plain, simple message. There is no complication of the gospel. Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. And you must put your faith and trust in that work. Yes, sir. You take care of my lady here, so that way you make him come back. God has set forth a standard. And that standard's in Jesus Christ. And you're not going to get to heaven accidentally. And you're not going to get to heaven without Jesus. In your faith and belief in the Virgin Mary, your belief in Mary will get you into hell. I don't think so. Oh, yeah. There's one me between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Mary's a female. She don't fit. you got to have a man that's a mediator, not a woman. There's no hope in the Pope, only Jesus saves. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. I mean, you trying to tell me pedophile priests are going to get you to heaven? I don't believe it. You're not going to put that belief on me. Two, if you love Jesus. The standard in the Word of God is the standard that's written in heaven. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. The way to heaven is Jesus who said, I am the way. Jesus, the truth, and the light. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. So you're not going to come to God without Jesus, according to Jesus. You won't make it. You can't make it. It will not happen. <laughs> Salvation is set forth by Jesus and only by Jesus. God has signed that in red. And in red and crimson, God has sealed the method to get to heaven by His blood upon Calvary's cross. 
And when Jesus Christ died on that cross, God shed his blood. It was God's blood that was spilt upon Calvary's cross. And that blood is able to cleanse you of your sins. You will find nobody in heaven who has put their trust in their religion. Nobody will walk the gates or through the gates of heaven who have said, I reject Jesus. Nobody will stroll the street of gold by saying, I was good enough. You will enter in the presence of God the Father through Jesus Christ the Son. When the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I am going to heaven only by Jesus. It is not nothing what I have done. Preaching don't even go get me to heaven. What I'm doing now does not get me into heaven. But the finished work of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world, will get you to heaven. Jesus, God, will get you to heaven. Not a Baptist Jesus, Not a Catholic Jesus. Not a hippie Jesus. But Jesus who is God. God that is Jesus. And your faith and belief in His finished work will get you to heaven. <laughs> You're a sinner and you won't make heaven. You won't get to heaven. And you cannot get to heaven without Jesus Christ. When you think that you are capable of being good, when the Bible says there's none that do it good, no, not one. Jesus was the only good one. Oh, 
And when you see those people that are in heaven, they're all there because of Jesus alone. For by grace are ye saved through faith. It is not of ourselves. At least any man boast. I'm here to tell you according to the scripture that your faith and belief in Jesus alone <laughs> is the only way to get you to heaven. New Zealand style. And without Jesus Christ, <laughs> you will not get to heaven. There is no other way to the Father except by what Jesus said. I am the way, the truth, and the light. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. You can't make it without Jesus. I mean, you can't get into this baseball game, this stadium over here, you cannot get into that stadium with NASCAR tickets. And you can't get to heaven without Jesus. You won't be allowed. And you cannot get into a NASCAR race with movie tickets. And you're not going to get into heaven without Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. And some will think, I can do it without Jesus, and you're not going to do it without Jesus. You cannot do it without Jesus. And God will not allow it without Jesus. Because he that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. And without Jesus to be without heaven and to be without Jesus is to be without mercy. And without Jesus, you'll be without grace. And without the blessed hope, you'll be hopeless. And in eternity, burning in the lake of fire that burneth forever. Because you have not put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone. No, no, no. 
and you cannot and will not make glory without Jesus Christ. And without Jesus Christ, you'll find yourself without heaven and in hell. You will not ever get to God without Jesus Christ. You will not ever satisfy God without Jesus Christ. Church attendance is without God. Baptism without God. I am a good person without God. And without God, Jesus Christ, you'll be without heaven in a place called the lake of fire. And without hope, alone. And when you're alone without God, Your eternal life will be hell. And hell forever. Because you have chosen to reject Jesus Christ. Taking all my money, honey. You have. Okay. And when you end up in a place called hell, it's because you're without Jesus. You're without hope. You're without God's way. You're without truth. And you're without life. And there is no light than the light that comes through Calvary, where Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. You will never surprise yourself to get to heaven. Because in order to get to heaven, you got to put your faith and trust in your sins through the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. You must put your faith and hope in Jesus Christ alone. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. There is no heaven without Jesus. There is no love without the love of God. And the love of God is that He gave His only begotten Son. And without the love of God, 
Hell is a place without love. You can cry. Baby seven. You need me. Go in the sun, though. You tell For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him that whosoever believeth on him shall be saved. Certificates don't get you to heaven. Membership is void at the gate of life. You must strive to enter the straight gate. And that straight gate is called Jesus. The other gate is called the broad way that leads to destruction. And many go through that gate into hell. But the straight gate is a gate of few. What you would say is a minority. The minority go through the straight gate through Jesus. And the masses go to hell. Without Jesus. It is simple as to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Nothing gets you to heaven but by Jesus. Whatever you can think is void when it is put up against what Jesus has done. And what Jesus has done, that he suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. And the warning is that you will go to hell without Jesus. You will be in a place of torment without Jesus. There is no satisfaction without Jesus. Believe it or not, there are actually pastors that go to hell. There are church members that are in hell. There are good people in hell. People who put their faith and trust in Jesus don't go to hell. 
dirty, sweet, black, black, black. Faith and trust and belief in Jesus alone gets you to heaven. Fame and fortune doesn't get you into heaven. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. And saved from what? Saved from hell. Come to Jesus and be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. Pray and believe in Mary will get you to hell. Go to church without belief in Jesus, go to hell. Do good. And go to hell. Get rich. Have fame. Go to hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And go to heaven. Repent to the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. And believe on that Lamb. And go to heaven. Come to Jesus, the sinner that you are, and go to heaven. Oh, preacher, I'm good. And the Bible says there's none that doeth good. No, not one. If you want to be satisfied after you die, God's satisfaction is in Jesus Christ alone. And without Jesus Christ, there is no satisfaction. And you will go to hell. And we are here to preach on how not to go to hell. And how not to go to hell is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. It's so simple, even a child can get saved. And I know why adults don't get saved, because of pride. And being proud. And I have to give up something. You don't have to give up anything. That's work. The very first thing you need to do is come to Jesus and be saved. I know he'll clean your life, but you don't come to Jesus with a clean life. You come to Jesus with a filthy life. And that filthy life is called sin. And all have sinned. And come short of the glory of God. And that there is none that doeth good. No, not one. That the wages of sin is death. 
but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And you cannot, it will not get to heaven without Jesus. It's impossible to please God without Jesus. It's impossible to get to heaven without belief in Jesus. That you come to Jesus, the sinner that you are. And believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. It's so simple. Thank you. You can be satisfied in the afterlife when you have chosen and believe on the satisfaction of God, Jesus Christ. There is no greater man than the man Christ Jesus. And there is no greater hope than the blessed hope of the Lord Jesus Christ. And there is no other way to get to heaven except by the one that said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father, God, but by me. And the one that said that is the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And without Jesus Christ, you'll be without heaven and hell. You don't get to heaven without Jesus. You will not get to heaven by rejecting Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Life is not safe after you die without Jesus. Life without Jesus is hopeless. Eternal life without Jesus is torment. Eternal life without Jesus, that is hell. And hell is you where you will go if you continue to reject Jesus. 
because you do not get to heaven without faith and belief in Jesus when the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. If Jesus couldn't save your soul, then why did he come? If your church can get you to heaven, why did Jesus die? If you're good enough, why did they bury Jesus? If your baptism can save your soul, then why did Jesus come out of that grave three days and three nights? And all of it according to the scripture. You see, when Jesus suffered and died, he did it according to the scriptures. And when he was buried, he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's the gospel. And the, and the Bible says for us Christians to go eat all the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. And the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Whoever you are, the Bible says. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son whosoever, that's anybody and everybody, believeth on him, shall not perish. But whosoever, that's anybody and everybody, who was not found written in the Lamb's Book of Life, was cast into the lake of fire. You see, you can be a whosoever and believe on Jesus, or you can be a whosoever and reject Jesus and go off into hell. It's your choice. And when you end up in hell, that's your choice. Because you have chosen to reject Jesus Christ. You have said to your soul, Soul, this is much more important than Jesus. God, what I am doing is above and beyond what Jesus has done. And Jesus will say, depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Imagine God telling you, depart, get away from me, get out of here. When Isaiah chapter 1, God says, come now, let us reason together. In Isaiah 1, God says, come. But after you died and it's too late, Revelation 20, depart from me. If you die without Jesus, it's too late. You're without hope. 
And once you die without Jesus, you cannot and will not ever be able to change your thoughts. You will not get to heaven without Jesus. You are unable to get to heaven without Jesus. And there is no hope in the Pope. Only Jesus saved. Allah is no God. But Jehovah is. Baptism gets you wet. Jesus gets you saved. Jesus will and is able to get you to heaven. Anything and everything but Jesus will get you into hell. When Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh unto the Father but by me. God has set forth a standard. And that standard is Jesus. And without Jesus, you'll be without God. And without Jesus, you'll be without hope. And without Jesus, you'll be without heaven. And without Jesus, you'll be without grace. And without Jesus, you'll be without mercy. And without Jesus, you'll be in a place called hell. And without Jesus, you'll be in torment in a place called hell. And you need not to go to hell, but believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. The church did not die upon Calvary's hill for you. There was no church at Calvary. Many people debate when the church started. I can tell you there was no church at Calvary. Baptism did not die on Calvary for your sin. There was no water at Calvary. There was vinegar. That dying thief put his faith in Jesus, and Jesus alone, without membership, without baptism, without any priest, and he died, and Jesus came and said, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved.
Being good was not on Calvary, except the good of Jesus Christ. And there was no good for Jesus was surrounded by thieves. When the Bible says there is none that doeth good, no, not one. You're not good enough. It's the hope and the belief of Jesus Christ. It is the hope and faith in Jesus Christ alone. And you will not make it to heaven without him. You cannot make it without him. It won't be allowed in heaven without him. See, God settled salvation. God said about salvation, before the foundation of the world, the foreknowledge of God, I have to go to Calvary's hill and die for my creation. God never said, I'll allow them to get to heaven on what they do. God never built a church from the foundation of the world to save your soul. God did not baptize anybody until John the Baptist. <laughs> so if baptism saves you, everybody went to hell before John the Baptist, except for Naaman. And I don't know if Naaman could do it because he baptized himself. From the very foundation of the offering of Abel, it's been blood. No blood, no entrance into heaven. And you must have the blood of the Lamb of God. You must have God's blood, Acts 20:28. 20, Without the shedding of blood, there's no remission. And without the Lamb of God, there's no salvation. And the Old Testament had the blood of rams, lambs, and goats. But their salvation wasn't finished until the Lamb of God suffered and died on Calvary's hill and was buried. And when he arose again the third day and the third night, then they came out of their graves. You cannot and will not get to God without Jesus. It's impossible. It's forbidden by the scripture. If you were to die at any time without faith and belief in Jesus, You'll be buried, and in hell you'll lift up your eyes, Luke 16 says. And if you are in religion, and you die and wake up in hell, why am I here? Because you rejected Jesus. That's why. You've rejected Jesus. 
And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. When the scriptures say, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Now notice the scriptures say the Lord Jesus Christ. You can't have a Catholic Jesus. Because if you eat and drink the body and blood of Jesus, you're not saved, you're a cannibal. There are people in, in the island nations, there are people in Africa that eat and drink people's blood. That's a cannibal. That's not salvation. You can't have a Jehovah Witness God because Jesus is not God. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. That is God's salvation. That is God's satisfaction. And there is no hope in the Pope, but there is hope in the blessed hope, the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Hey, Ron.